it's your girl Brie and in this video I am going to show you how to recreate the velvet bomber that Taeyang was wearing in his music video for Don't Wake Me Up. Don't wake me up. Hey, 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 hey. summer Taeyang released a new album called White Night and he also dropped a couple music videos to go along with it like one does when they have a comeback and his wake me up music video was everything it had the visuals it had the vocals it had the looks and it was just slaying my edges left and right and I was just like, you know what? It's fine, Tang. I don't need my edges. I'm cool. Um, and then he came on the screen rocking the Velvet Bomber. And that that's just what did me in. Like, he looked amazing. And I was like, I need that. I need it now. I need it right away. Um, I need it. I need to recreate. I need to recreate it. And so I did. And here's a tutorial for it. Um, for this tutorial, all you're going to need are two yards of velvet crushed velvet fabric in a maroon burgundy purplish reddish color and half a yard of black knit fabric for the collar the cuffs and the hem make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here i would love it for you to come and join me and my little k-pop brothers and sisters in our little k-pop corner in the sky i mean it's amazing it's wonderful here why not come and join it also make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that i know that you liked it that you liked me even maybe all right i'll check in with you guys at the end of this tutorial Folding the velvet fabric in half, I laid down a sweatshirt that fit me well and cut out a back piece. Using the same sweatshirt, I cut out two symmetrical front pieces. And then lastly, I patterned two sleeves from this same sweatshirt, making sure on all these pieces to leave half an inch of seam allowance all the way around. The first step is to sew the front and back pieces together. So placing the back piece down with the right side facing up, we are going to place both of our front pieces on top so that the right sides are touching one another and then we are going to attach these using a straight stitch at the shoulder seam from there we're going to open up the sides so that we see the full curve of the armhole then we're going to pin our sleeve to the armhole i like to fold my sleeves in half to find the true point of symmetry then place that on the shoulder seam and pin in place we want to make sure that the raw edges of our shoulder seam are open so that our jacket lays flat and is nice and smooth I like to use a boatload of pins when securing my sleeves in place for sewing because I don't want my fabric to shift and move all over the place. And then we are going to sew this using a straight stitch. Next it's time to bring right sides together and run a straight stitch up the bottom side of the sleeve and then the side. I like to start at the armpit seam and then sew outwards. Now we are ready to add the waistband cut from our black knit fabric. This waistband should fit comfortably around the hips and be as wide as you like. And then placing the fabric down right sides together, we are going to attach using a zigzag stitch. For our cuff, I cut out a rectangle that fits nicely around my wrist and forearms just in case I want to push up my sleeves and get to work. You should sew this using a straight stitch and then fold it in half, making sure that the seams are laid open and smooth. Taking the cuff, we are going to slip that over the open end of our sleeve, matching up our seams and making sure that right sides are touching, and then pin that in place. Um, I like to strategically place my cuff so that there is equal tension all around. So I'll start at the seams and then pin across and then find little pockets from there so that my cuff is evenly spaced around. Um, and then we are going to stitch this in place using a zigzag stitch all the way around.
We should have a zipper that is long enough to cover the front of our body and opens at the bottom so we can easily slip in and out of our jacket. Then we're going to take our zipper, we are going to completely um, open it and place each side on their proper front piece, then take the waistband and fold it in half and start pinning our zipper at the fold. We want the teeth of our zipper to face outwards and away from the raw edge. Then we are going to run a straight stitch up both sides securing our zipper in place. This is just me testing it out, making sure that it works, which is very important. Moving on to the collar. We want a piece of fabric that is a little smaller than our neck opening and then we are going to fold it in half twice lengthwise and widthwise. Then we are going to take our scissors and cut a curve on the edge that is closest to the shoulder seam. Um, so yeah, using our trusty dusty <laughs> scissors, cut that curve. Now we are going to pin our collar in place. I marked the center of the neck opening with the pin and then folded my collar in half um, so that I could find the center of that. And then I obviously pinned that down. <laughs> Once the center is pinned in place, I pinned the two edges closest to the front. Um, so the front of the left side and then the front of the right side and then I strategically pinned all the way around making sure that there is equal tension just like I did with the cuffs and then before we sew it in place we want to make sure our collar looks nice just in case we need to fix anything um, we want to figure that out now and then sew that down using a zigzag stitch to finish up the waistband, I folded the bottom raw edge under a bit and then folded the whole waistband up, pinning all the way around and then sewing that down using a straight stitch. When stitching, you want to take it slow and make sure that your stitch isn't doing something crazy on the right side. While the stitching the waistband, I decided to stitch the velvet down near the zipper so it's secure around the zipper. I also did this with the collar and you want to stitch this using a straight stitch. Okay, the last part is to add the front details to Tang's bomber. I sort of freehand sketched a shape that looked like the patches he had on the front. I don't know, it's weird. I used a black suede fabric for these front patches, and then I also ran two straight stitches along the edges following the dips, the valleys, and curves. It's barely noticeable, but it adds a little something extra. And then I attached these using my favorite, 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 favorite fabric glue, Fabrifix. Honestly, this glue has never let me down, and I feel like it will never let me down. It's gotten me through so many tutorials you're going to add a stream of glue all along the perimeter and then firmly place the patches onto the fabric making sure to press it down nicely and evenly and secure it in place and then that's all she wrote like that's it folks that's completely it that is a bomber from freaking scratch hello i love i love i love I feel like I have officially entered fall with this jacket. Like it is the perfect autumn jacket. I love it so much. And I hope that you guys did as well. Like definitely let me know how you guys felt about it in the comments down below. Also, if there is something that you would love to see me recreate from any music video, let me know in the comments. Let's have a little chit chat. Let's have a little conversation. Let's connect, let's, you know, vibe down in the comments below also make sure to hit the subscribe button if you didn't do that earlier and follow me on instagram this jacket will be making an appearance up on there you know maybe once maybe twice maybe even three times because i like it that much um so follow me on there my instagram is just at your girl brie brie that's about it i will see you guys in my next one bye